Hey guys, Papneel here back with another video and in this video I'll be showing you the Oxygen OS 5.0.3 changes on the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T. Here I have the OnePlus 3 with me as you can see for yourself and this phone now has the face unlocking feature. I haven't installed the update yet because I wanted to show you the change log. So here is the downloaded update itself. If you are interested you can pause and read the change log here. So as you can see 100% it has been downloaded so I should reboot to upgrade now which I'll do in just a second and by the way guys I'm from India and currently as of now this update is not yet available in India and if you're really interested in getting this update which is absolutely legal and won't damage or affect your OnePlus 3 in a negative manner you can go ahead and download a VPN so what basically a VPN will do is that it will pretend that your phone is in another country and then you'll get the OTA update in my case, I have chosen Germany because that's the country where OnePlus updates are probably the first ones. So if you choose Germany, you'll get the update and that's how I got the update. And now, let's reboot to upgrade. I've installed the Oxygen OS 5.0.3 update now and this is the phone itself like after the update has been installed. So let's go through all the changes and firstly let me show you the highlighting feature of this update which is the face unlocking feature. So if I go into the settings, security and lock screen, as you can see for yourself there's a new face unlocking option here through which we can add or delete faces. So remove face data, face unlock on and off, auto unlock after the screen is on so on and off face unlock assistive lighting so basically in low light scenarios the screen will turn on at the maximum brightness to help you with the face unlocking feature as it says in situations where the camera cannot recognize your face the screen will light up to help the camera recognize you so that's useful in low lighting scenarios okay anyways i'll show you a demo first i'll unlock the phone as soon as they press the power button you will see the phone will get unlocked by using the face data so as you can see it's really very very fast you cannot actually make it that it's actually unlocking through my face so if i press the button once as you can see it's currently not unlocking because i'm not showing my face to the camera so this is how it will look if i swipe up it'll ask me to enter the pattern or use face unlock so as soon as i show my face again it unlocks so it's actually very very fast as you can see for yourself so this is probably as fast as the fingerprint scanner on the oneplus 3 but then it's definitely not as secure as the fingerprint scanner because this is working through the camera and there's not like a specific kind of a sensor built into the phone for just the face unlocking feature like the iPhone 10 or the S8 or the S9 so this is definitely not as much secure as those other phones anyways here are the options so we can remove face data okay I'll do that once and again I'll add so these, this is the first screen which we get when we have to add a face so please keep your face in a bright environment and face to your phone okay next so, as you saw, it read my face and collected the data which it wanted to collect. Let's confirm. And next time if we try, see, as you can see how fastly it unlocks, it's basically instant. Anyways, let's go through the other updates of the Oxygen OS 5.0.3. So, they have refined the shelf UI a little bit, so it looks better now. Not just looks, even in, the, in terms of functionality, the widgets and all which we can add. So they've kind of refined it. I don't use shelf much. And then they've also added new app shortcuts. And if you go to the gallery once. So like initially we had these options on the top. Now they have shifted it to the bottom. We have collections now, which include screenshot and places. So basically if you click more pictures at different places across the globe, You'll see a map here and at a particular position where that particular picture was clicked you'll see that photo attached to that place in the map 
which is again a good thing they have also added some new uh, widgets to the overall launcher and they have made improvements in terms of the way the files are stored and also if we go to the about phone as you can see the security patch level has been updated to may 2018 which is a really good thing that they're still supporting this phone which is two years old they should actually support but then the thing which happened with the 3t was surprising so yeah that's good that they're supporting the oneplus 3 still now well that's about it guys for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did so feel free to hit the thumbs up button down below and also don't forget to subscribe you can also follow me on facebook google plus and twitter links to all of them are in the description don't forget to subscribe